Good day, class. This is Dungeon Class, and I'm Gonzo. And today, in today's pop quiz, I've got the esteemed guest, Jacqueline Claire Berkland. And thank you for coming. I know no you're problem. super excited yes. to be in front of millions of people. So excited. <laughs> or at least a couple. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to ask you some questions, Jackie. And uh, you're a member of our D&D playing group. And um, I just feel like it'd be interesting for other people to hear thoughts uh, other than just two old guys that DM <laughs> all the time. So I want to hear your thoughts. So I've got some questions down. I'm going to okay. ask you. Try to be honest. Uh, you're not being judged by anyone but me. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the first one is, how long have you been playing? How, whenever our group started. So May, two years ago. Mm. So All right. Yeah. Two, 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 two and a half years. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Not too long. And um, did you have, coming into the game, did you have some preconceived notions of what the game would be like? Not really. I didn't know much about it mm -hmm. at all. My... What did you picture? Because that's what's interesting to me. <laughs> Do you really? Want yeah, to? I want to know. Tons of nerds and their <laughs> big, thick glasses. So <laughs> Sitting around a table. Oh my gosh. Probably only a group of two or three. Okay. So that's you what know. you pictured? I really didn't know anything about it. Okay. Hamilton, mm -hmm. my husband told me a story once about when he played. So that's all I knew okay. was his one little story. All right. So... And instead, you found a whole bunch of nerds. Yeah. Um, yeah, all right. They don't wear glasses, but yeah, well, I don't know if they have contacts. So, that's true. same thing. Okay, good. Um, well, you mentioned Hamilton. So, you sit at the table generally across from your spouse. Yeah. How has that changed your interaction when you play? Like, I know it's changed it a little bit than if he wasn't playing. So, how? How do you think? I don't really know. Um, I guess... Usually we're pretty good at knowing what each other's thinking. So sometimes I can tell what he's going to do <laughs> okay. before he does it. And sometimes I have no clue and he really surprises me. Mm -hmm. So surprises sometimes I'll play table. off of what I think he's going to do. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes I'll try and outdo the crazy thing and I'll try and do the crazy thing first. <laughs> yeah, I have noticed that. Every once which in has a while. made the table and the rest of the people playing really enjoying their day. So. <laughs> Yes, yes, we've noticed that. Okay, yeah. well, that's awesome, but that's good to know. Um, all right, what's your favorite part of playing? Mm. I like making the characters. Oh, okay. I mean, usually I know what I'm going to make before, but I like trying to figure out what I'm going to be. and. So the creation process, it's not the rolling of the stats, though. What do you enjoy no, about I don't making? Like that. <laughs> yeah, so, okay, so what do you enjoy about making of the I just like, re I guess, reading. I know which ones I wouldn't want to play. Mm -hmm. Like, I wouldn't want to be only doing magic. Okay. I like the ones that have a little bit of both. Right. Um, so I guess I just like to read about it a little bit and see what I would okay. want to do, what I wouldn't want to do. All right, cool. So the creation process is, is one of your favorite parts of playing. Yeah, and I like using, I mean, I know you've talked mostly only about the player's handbook. Yeah. But I like the races from some of the other books. Well, we all do. We, we've, better so far in our video series, we've only covered the races covered yeah. in the player's handbook, but there's tons more. I'm sure they'll cover and a lot of people enjoy later, those. so spoiler alert. Yeah, but... yeah. We definitely will. We definitely will. Yes. Um, okay, that's great. What is your least favorite thing? about playing if there is such a thing i don't even i don't really know or it's maybe, not a least favorite but it's kind of okay. hard playing off of other characters when we have so many in our group we have like okay six yeah seven. sometimes yeah we've played up, with we've up played to, with more we have and, and then we played with like eight but even our standard group is at least five if not six and that's a lot yeah uh, yeah yeah six so so, so it's kind of tough just with a bigger group. Okay. Be everybody being heard, which doesn't... Right. No, mean, that's great feedback, but... and I think that's a general counsel for a lot yeah, of people. Yeah, so I think... You know, it can be done. It's just diff more difficult. Yeah, so right. maybe if you're brand, brand new, getting a smaller group okay. to get used to it. Well, that's good. I don't know. Okay. Um, it's a good question here. Would you ever be a dungeon master? Would you try it? 
I would try it. I yeah. would do maybe like a one shot. I don't think sure. I would want to do one that's like weeks. All encompassing long. campaign. Okay. But I would be against it. I do have some ideas. I, so. I mean, I know you do. <laughs> well, then we'll have to give you a shot. Maybe. I'll have to give you a shot. All right. Yeah. Um, what's your favorite character that you've created? And you've created some for one shots. You've created some for long running campaigns. Yeah. I really liked my warlock, but I didn't. I only got to play it for a day or two, mm-hmm. so I didn't really get to know it that well. But my ranger, okay, I think was my favorite. I'd love to do another ranger and like change certain mm-hmm. things. And I, she was a beastmaster. Yes, she okay. was a beastmaster. So she had her buddy mm-hmm. Dagnira, who died. Yeah. And so then she had That's snuck. sad. We should, we should, we all shed a tear when you lost that. Yeah, it was a really level. big deal. It was. It was a big deal. Okay. I think that was the was first that, character that died. What, now, for let me, if I remember right, was that partially due to Hamilton's, your husband's, um, probably crazy action in the bar where he burned the bar down and we were chased around the I town? I don't know if that's when I it happened. remember, but let's blame it him. It is probably his fault. Yeah, let's blame Most him. Most things are. <laughs> okay. And I'm sure him and Grib together definitely caused it. Yeah, so. I agree. All right, do you think, now that you've played for a little while, do you think anyone could pick, up, pick this game up and learn to play it? Yeah, it's pretty simple, especially if you do have somebody who knows a little bit. Mm-hmm. Like, if you have somebody... Not necessarily somebody who's played a ton, but somebody who just kind of has an idea. Okay. Or if you can have a DM who knows a little more. Mm-hmm. I think anybody. Even without that, you could learn. But I think that would help. Cool. All right. And um, do you think everybody should play? Yeah. I think it's fun. And you get to be a little creative, even if you're not super creative. Okay. That's cool. You can work those muscles a little. All right. And uh, what would be your, your advice for anyone that's interested in playing? Just kind of what I already said, like Mm -hmm. maybe if you are interested, trying to find a smaller group, maybe try and find somebody who has played before. Okay. Um, That's really good. You can watch these videos. Okay. (laughs) All right. Thanks for the plug. Um, Mm -hmm. That's great. All right. We're going to do some rapid fire. So I'm going to ask you some questions really quick. You just, whatever comes to your mind, go ahead and answer. And uh, we'll go from there. So, first one. Elf or human? Elf. Always. Um, Netflix or YouTube? Netflix. Okay. Uh, a D&D pet peeve that you have? Oh my gosh. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. You don't know. Okay. Well, maybe you've had all good experiences. Well, I mean, it's kind of a pet peeve. It's not really a pet peeve. It's just kind of annoying. Like, what is it? When you roll really low all okay. day long. Rolling low. But you don't have any control over that. That's the only thing I can You gotta have the heart of the dice. Well, yeah, but you know. All right. Some things are just off. Okay. Um, (laughs) Would you rather face a mimic or a cloaker? Remember Remember the cloaker? That's the thing that wrapped around you guys. Oh, a mimic. (laughs) Mimic, okay. Um, Pineapple on pizza or not? Definitely. Definitely what? Pineapple on pizza. Pineapple on pizza, all right. Good, you're with me. Um, Okay, would you rather turn into an animal or be able to control one? Control one. Okay. Well,. Yeah, oh, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Because right. then you can still do stuff yourself, so you're like double, yeah. right? Okay. I guess. It's, it's your call. Uh, sword or magic? You got to choose one. Magic. Okay. Because then you can control the animal. Okay. All right. And then better DM. Me or Mark? I've played more with Mark <laughs> as a DM. I know him better now as a DM only. But, I mean, for sake of video, Gonzo. Thank you very much. That was the right answer. The appropriate answer. All right. Well, thanks for doing this. I know this wasn't easy for you, um, but I appreciate you coming. And until next time, class dismissed. (laughs) Class dismissed. (laughs)